In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this book using a Junior Mints candy box in perfect binding. Here's a list of materials and tools I'll be using. First, I'm going to carefully take apart the box. and remove any leftover candy on the inside and lightly sand over the spots. Using the folds as a guide, cut off the flaps on each side. Now I have a front cover, spine, and back cover, and I'm going to let the width of the spine determine my page count. For the pages, I'm using these two shades of green paper to go along with the mint. Fold each page in half and run the bone folder across the folded edge. Then, using a utility blade, cut each page to the same height as the cover. You can also cut two pages at a time to speed up the process. The cut pages should end up looking like this next to the cover. Next, take all the cut pages, stack them to a line on the spine and bottom sides, use a clip to temporarily keep them together, and put them in a book press. Make sure they are pressed enough to fit in the cover. Then apply PVA glue. After the first coat is dry, apply one to two more coats. While you're waiting for the glue to dry, return to the cover and use the bone folder to make a score one-fourth of an inch away from the spine on each side. After the pages are dry, glue the spine to the book cover. I'm using a glue gun for this part, but you can also use PVA glue. Then use PVA glue in the scored areas on the front and back covers. And use the bone folder to smooth it onto the end page. Now the last part, use a utility blade to trim the pages to the size of the cover. Make sure the blade is sharp and make slow, even cuts to make a smooth edge.
If the edge doesn't come out perfectly smooth, use a file to sand the uneven parts. Now it's finished. And an extra bonus, the book even smells minty fresh from the cover. To learn more about the perfect binding method, check out the video to the left. For another fun project, check out the one to the right. And be sure to subscribe for more tutorials.